in just over a weekend, this many people tried to hack me. They tried to hack me by breaking into my SSH server, which I had set up to trap them. I was very sneaky. I trapped them. <laughs> I used a honeypot to do this. I used this honeypot here. It's called SSH honeypot. It's really simple Python. It's not even that good. It says it's for Python 3, but it's not, so I had to convert it. Uh, all it does is say, hello, I'm an SSH server. And, and capture their username and password because I thought it would be interesting to look at that data. So let's have a look, shall we? This is my server here. It has an, uh, the honeypot is running on port 22, which is the standard SSH port. So all, all I did to set this up was git clone the repo and then basically do python honeypot.py, just run that script. So you can see it's running on SSH port 22, you've got to generate an SSH key, easy peasy, but this is not a video on how to set it up. All it does is it look in logins.txt, it logs the passwords. Uh, so we can look at that. Now that many people have failed a login. Let's, let's do some interesting things in this file. So we can look in it. So we can look in this file here and you see all the usernames and passwords. Any interesting ones in here? Time machine, time machine. Uh, maybe that's an Apple one. And yeah, so most of them are root, user, random users, Debian, raspberry, raspberry. Any interesting passwords that I can see in here? Cumulus. So it mainly seems to be there's a lot of people trying someone's name and then their name as a password, like Andreas, Andreas. Uh, let's do a little little bit of bash scripting to see what username is tried the most. So, we are going to sort logins. Right, so that puts the file in alphabetical order. Then we are going to just extract the username using cut, uh, delimiter colon field one. There we go, and then we are going to sort them again. And then, wait, do we, do we need to sort them again? No, we don't, we just need to unique them. Unique dash count, there we go. Uh, and then sort the count. There we are. So this doesn't look right. Ah, I know why they're not sorted. Sort dash n, there you go. And then we sort them by, right. Uh, why aren't these the same? Maybe that's a slight difference. So the most used name is obviously root. Then it's Ubuntu, and then it's root again. Right, I don't know what's happened there, but We've done this, our pipeline, we have done it very quickly. So our most used is, is root, admin, Ubuntu and Debian. This says don't use Ubuntu or Debian because they're very common and they're more common than you'd think because they're there for some reason. Pi, Raspberry Pi, they're expecting Raspberry Pis, lots of Raspberry Pis, the bots are looking for, FTP user, test, MySQL, don't give your unsecured databases, but these are all, this is all, these people are all trying to SSH in. All right, let's now look at the most common password. Get the passwords first from logins, so they are, oh, let's remind myself of the format, so we're going to get the password, again using cuts, but the second one, so we'll get all the passwords, then we'll sort the passwords, and then we'll unique, unique dash count, and then sort dash n, and then, there we go, okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six is the most common password, that is not surprising, what's surprising there is this, what is this? I'm now thinking, is this my password? Apparently this password is some form of loaded looking, if, if it logs in with this password it will also run a command at the same time, I'm not sure, but that's interesting. Uh, and then there's no other real surprising ones, net, niz, sect, t. Now for something more interesting, if you want to stop this, I'm on a different server now, for because I didn't want to stop this to record, what you can do is install either change your SSH port, which is kind of a workaround and doesn't really work, or you can use software like fail to ban which basically you, you, you install it and by default it will just work, right? So you install it and by default it will ban anyone who attempts to log into your server and fail a password for an hour. It will ban them completely. Uh, but I have configured it to ban them forever. So I can, so I can go fail to ban client which is the, the command line tool status. And I want to look at a particular, it's called like jail, and I want to look at SSHD. And we can see it takes a while because there's a ton of IPs. If we go to the top of this exhaustive, exhaustive list, we can see it has banned this many IPs. So, I did some interesting analysis on these. So Linux comes with a tool called GeoIP Lookup, which is a, a tool that references a, a database on the system that contains IP address to location. So if I take this IP here, it's from Korea, so we banned an IP address from Korea. Okay, this one, US. Right, okay. It, this is not entirely accurate, by the way. There is some inconsistencies. It gives a good overview. So I did a thing. Ah, uh, okay. So I extracted the list of fail to ban IPs because fail to bans uh, uses IP tables to ban them. So you can do IP tables 
save to get a list of all your rules and then grab, fail to ban to grab all the rules and I just used some Linux tools to cut that out, like this. So I printed the fourth line with orc, that one, cut the slash out, this bit, and then printed the first instance before the slash. So I printed the IP, put them in this band ips.tax file, and you can see where I'm going from here. So, with band ips.tax, I did this, I did a simple while loop. So while we read IP, which is just something you put, so loop over the file that we input. So we loop over band ips.txt and put every line in band ips.txt into the IP variable. Then we do GOIP lookup on the IP variable. That spits out a bunch of data, which we then put into band countries.txt. So now I have this file here, band countries.txt. And then I did a simple sort. So we sort band countries, we unique it by the count, and then we display the count. And now we can see the best band, the most commonly banned countries. Surprisingly, it's the United States. I would honestly not have thought that. I would have thought China or Russia, because like, those are stereotypes. Russia is number one, of, is, it has only been banned 105 times from me. So our top 10. United States, China, Brazil, Vietnam, Korea, not found. Denmark, Great Britain, Netherlands, Russia, and France. Who is the nicest country? It is Anonymous Proxy. It is Anonymous Proxy. Although I assume the nicest country is not on here, so if we do JE. Yes, there are no Jersey IP addresses. Let me do a, a check if there is a Jersey IP address. 87.244.91.1. Okay, that is a Jersey, and then... So it does work, and no Jersey IP has attempted to break into my server, which means it is the best place on the world. Is there Guernsey IPs? GSY IP address ranges. Showing results for gay IP address ranges! No! I mean, I don't care if they are, but I didn't think an IP address had a sexuality. 85.3.100.0. So it is, and it's GG. Okay, Guernsey is also nice. Right, okay, so there's lots of places on here that haven't tried to hack me, but the best way to secure your servers is to change the port, and honestly, just don't allow login by username and password. Just use keys. No one tries with keys. Keys are good. Bye. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and or otherwise you'll be attacked by a botnet.